Wagwan, we're there. Welcome to vegan food and vibes. We're gonna be bringing you some of the best meals, smoothies and juices, wholesome. The reason for us doing this show is because there's a lack of information when it comes to healthy foods. And we wanna just show you, listen, you can eat good, clean, and we're gonna show you how to make them vibrant and energetic. someone special to join me today, one of my long time friends, big netballer, my G from long time, England netballer, Sasha Corbin. Yay! Oh, go on. Hey babe. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Hey guys. What's your thoughts on healthy living then, Sash? I think it's important, definitely. Um, it just, I don't know, it just makes you feel good. Um, energetic and yeah it just allows you to just keep going day to day without feeling like you, you know you're gonna lose anything do you know mm. what I mean like yeah. so when you're training vigorously every day how high do you value your nutrition um, yeah I think it's something that's kind of come over time I must mm. say I've not always been great at eating mm -hmm. um, and even now if I'm honest I do get food sent to me and then I make yeah. it myself yeah. and then um, that's kind of how I how I live. Well, before training, I have to make sure I put in uh, a lot of like just good protein, uh, making sure that I'm ready and good to go. And then again, protein after training just to yeah. repair the muscles. I think mm -hmm. it's really, really important. Uh, All right. Well, today we're gonna make spag bol. I love spag bol with kamu okay. and mushroom. You ready? Let's go. One Ashtray, ready, ready. Not a lean, ready, ready. Not a fuck, not a junk, not a either. Ready, ready. All right, so here's some of the ingredients that we're gonna be using. We've got some coriander, we've got some sweet basil. Coriander's good for cleansing the, the body as well of heavy metals. Sweet basil, good for memory, good for stress, flu. Peppers, I like to call this the bun out corruption. Got some peppers, spring onions, tomatoes, some sun-dried. People like to talk about protein. We've got chickpeas here. Yes. I love mushrooms. We've got the mushroom, okay. you know what I mean? Good for vitamin D, good for the skin, good for everything. And this here is kamut. Mm. It's an ancient grain. Okay. Yeah. It's good for the liver, it's good for strengthening muscles, strengthening bones, good for the body. You can also get this in a grain, which we use instead of white rice or brown rice. So wait, this isn't just normal spaghetti? It's not normal spaghetti, it's kamut pasta. It looks just like it though. <laughs> it tastes completely different. Okay. And it's a whole lot lighter. So this is how we're doing it, different. Moe diferente for my Spanish people. Right then, let's wash our hands because cleanliness is next to godliness. That's why I'm in our full white. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Rude. Accident, accident. Okay, so what's first? Okay, I'm gonna step. Okay, I'm gonna step. First, we're gonna make the tomato sauce. Okay. Yeah? So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna need you to put the sun dried tomatoes in there. All of them, just that's gonna be. Ah, like them. Right, get them in. Yeah? Yeah. And then we want to put some olive oil, healthy fats. Yeah? Can't left out the healthy fats. One about 300 mil. That's quite a lot. I just want to have them covered so that they're soaking for a little piece. Sheesh! All right. All right then, bossy. Yeah. Yeah. Sun dried tomatoes are going to stay there. Yeah. To soak. Yep. How can I forget the big bad sea moss? Sea moss? Talk to me. What is sea moss? Sea moss is nature's answer to it all. Some call it the nature's answers to chemotherapy. Okay. Cleanses the body. It has 92 minerals out of the 102 that the body needs. So this is something that I include in 
everyone on my dishes. What is it like? Oil? No, so it comes with the seaweed. You know what? I think I might have a seaweed local. So this is purple sea moss. This is from Jamaica. Right. So this has been sun dried mm -hmm. in the sun and left out overnight to be dried by the moon as well. Yeah. Okay. Wild okay. from Jamaica. Yeah. 92 out of the 102 minerals the body needs. Mm -hmm. So there's so much focus on protein, yeah. but people forget about minerals. Mm -hmm. And you see this white. So what we do is we basically turn this into a gel. And that's what that is. Which is this. Okay. You can have it as a tea, or you can put it in your smoothies, or you can put it in your meals, which is what I do every day. Okay. And people say to me, why you got so much energy? You like See us. Yeah. All right, what we're gonna do now, whilst that's waiting, we're gonna wash all the other veg. Nice and easy. <laughs> all right, here you go. Oops, sorry. So why are we doing this? Because it's always good to try and wash as much of the, the nastiness, I just call it, off the food, you know? Thank you. So what we're gonna use right now as well is distilled water, yeah? We've got a water distiller here, which is what a lot of the meals will be made of, made from. So this pulls out all the gunk. Yeah. All right, Bob, there we go. Dash it in. You're gonna dash the rest in, or oh, you just... Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna just do... Make sure you get in there, and you, you know what I mean? You have to just... Mm. Just make sure, you know, everything clean off. All right, cool, let's go. All right. Get your stuff on that side, bring my... Like, you know, yeah. Okay. Mm.
96 degrees. Titanium steel heat conductor. about energy and take it well into depth you know that the bamboo and the wood keeps the energy within the foods isn't it you heard it here first all right try a team with this something something and well you need a little technique when you're using these spoons still just get it on just get it all on it's very creamy and nice and <laughs> Chop up two avocado quickly. Okay, yeah. With a knife, yeah. What's your techers? Squares. Why? Yeah, go for the squares. Don't know how I'm gonna get them out though. Got a calabash. bless up our food, you know what I mean? Two young people who school me within this last year about praying before eating, okay. you know, sending back good vibrations back into our food. Okay. Left hand. Ooh. Yeah, man, so we just want to bless up everyone. Bless up where the foods come from, from nature. And bless up everyone that's enjoying this video. Bless. Bless. Blessings. All right. Flavour and this is so flavoursome. I'm so happy. So I should try this. Would you feel tempted to try more vegan meals? Oh, I'm already in. Oh, okay. So you know that. Yeah, yeah, I do really like. There's so many good dishes out there, but I don't yeah. think there's enough for people to try. Like, as in, I don't think enough people experiment. Yeah. I think they're just scared that you know it's not going to taste that nice. Yeah. I think I, I was a culprit. I'd say I, I used to think it wouldn't taste that nice. Mm -hmm. I'm very fussy. I'm a very fussy eater. Mm -hmm. But I think flavour for me is important. And I think as well, forget the processed foods. You see all them processed stuff? Mm. It's not bringing real wholeness to the cells of the body, what the cell needs. So more life, more prosperity. Any last words? Blessings. Thank you, Smith. More life. Peace, love and light. 